Let's go ahead and print some transparency films for screen printing. We're going to be using the Canon PIXMA IX6820. We're going to be using Adobe Illustrator. And the first thing we want to do is create our artboard. Artboard is going to be 13 by 19, same size as our film. Make sure that you are working under CMYK and 300 ppi for now now we go to document setup we're going to go ahead and change our preset resolution to high okay then we go to effects and we're going to go ahead and change our resolution so here we have 300 ppi let's go ahead and change it to go click in other and it's and you're going to be able to change it to 600 ppi and that should be good so click ok i already have a screen set up i just wanted to show you how to create one from scratch it's pretty much the same thing you still have 13 by 19 right here and everything is the same cmyk i just have my screen so i can get a reference just make sure that you have your registration marks where you want them now that we have our logos set up on our film however we want to set them up we want to make sure that our logos are 100 percent black the way we're going to do that is we're going to go here to go to fill and stroke and we're going to go ahead and double click that we want to make sure that these numbers are 100 percent black are 100 percent okay so we hit okay and that's going to give us the darkest black possible make sure that you do that for all everything that you want to print okay, so we have everything set up on our film we make sure that everything is completely black now we're going to go ahead and print it we're going to go to file print or you can just do command p either way it's going to bring you to this page right here you want to make sure that you have your printer obviously printer selected color management so illustrator determine colors there's many to choose from i'm always testing them out the ones that i'm trying right now it's pro photo rgb and right here i'm using absolute color metric you want to make sure that Right here, it's set at high resolution. And you want to make sure that under graphics, document raster effect resolution, you want to make sure that it's at 600 PPI. Everything looks good right here. Now let's hop up onto printer setup. So it's gonna, this is going to pop up, continue bring this up because you want to make sure that you are printing on a a plus a3 plus this one right here this is where this is where we're gonna do um some changes we're gonna go to quality and media and the one that has been working for me is this matte photo paper so to get that, I go here under photo papers, and then we go to the bottom matte photo paper. Click on that. You want to make sure that your print quality is on high, and just click OK. So now we're going to go to color media, and we want to make sure that this. It's on high right here it's usually like this Do you want to make sure that it's high all three of them I go with dark right here I go with intensity on the dark side dark and then contrast I'm doing low contrast I hit OK and that is it for here we're going to go ahead and hit print and that's just going to take us back to here from here 
everything looks good you can get a little preview right there we're gonna go ahead and hit print And here it is. This is our film. Let me know if you have any questions or any problems.